I got the counterweights on and I also made an extension to the water tank. This aluminum cylinder uh, is necked. It has a shoulder and an o-ring to engage the copper one. And that just sort of acts as an anti-slosh and uh, you can see she's wobbling a little bit but that's because the stand although it has three legs this this is just shoved in a in a loose hole here that rod so if I hold that from wiggling then the engine steadies right out it's not that bad so the counterweight seemed to have helped and it's just running on residual heat right now if I stop it you can see the counterweights and one's a lot bigger than the other one. The heavy one is for the displacer. And then if I flick it, it should start up again. And uh, so she's running quite good. So you can see the water doesn't. The water is about two inches below the top and it doesn't slosh out. And I can make a little cap for the top if I want. It's got more than enough water in now. So that top plastic tube going up at a 45 degree angle is below the copper aluminum juncture. So you can see it there. So there it is. I'll shut her down now. Let's see that goes in. Okay. Very quiet. Um, especially without the flame on, but I plan to run this with a, with, a, with a kerosene lamp, so that won't make any noise at all either. So it's about as loud as she's going to be. A smooth runner. Well, that's it. I'll shut her off now.